In this video, we're going to talk about a really powerful modeling technique called Design Booleans. You can find the Design Booleans in the Part Tools section of the Model tab, and there are three kinds. The first one is Boolean Unite, which will take two separate models and combine the geometry into a single model. Boolean Subtract will remove one model's geometry from another model. And Boolean Intersect will leave just the intersecting components of two models. Let's start our example with Boolean Unite. Here we have a component that we've designed, and in our case, the Boolean Unite use case will be to add a logo. The 3D logo that we've designed looks like this. We've designed it as a separate 3D model file and named that file logo. To start the Boolean Unite, we'll go to the main part file and we'll click Boolean Unite. And we'll simply select the file that we want, in this case, logo. And we're entered into some kind of a hybrid mode where we have some assembly related tools in the part workspace. We'll left click to place a single example of our logo. And now we wanna use constraints, which you'd normally do in an assembly to position the second part relative to the first part. In our case, an easy way to do that would be to right click on the logo component and say show reference geometry. And this will give us access to the default geometry and any other reference geometry we may have made in this part. And that's gonna let us position this pretty easily. So we'll create a new constraint. And maybe we wanna position this plane and this plane to be uh, the same. And we wanna do the same thing here because we want it to be centered. And then the last thing we want is for this face and this face to be coincident. So we've positioned this part properly, and we can see that we have some overlapping geometry here, and we just press the check mark. As of this point, we can see that the Boolean has been completed, and the logo's geometry has been added to the geometry of the part. If we need to modify anything, such as the positioning, we can also edit the design Boolean feature in the feature history tree. Another really common type of Boolean is gonna be the Boolean subtract tool. This tool will remove one part's geometry from another part. And this is really common, especially when making things like molds. We'll start using the Boolean subtract tool and let's select our part file that we want to remove. We'll left click to place one instance. And in this case, let's turn on reference geometry with control shift P. And we wanna also show the reference geometry of our source part. We can again use assembly constraints to align the two components. And now we can complete the Boolean subtract by pressing the check mark. We can see that the parts geometry has been removed from the block. The final type of Boolean is the Boolean intersect. And this can have some interesting use cases. Let's explore one now. We'll start with the Boolean select tool and we'll select another object. Again, let's turn on reference geometry with control shift P and we can right click show reference geometry as usual. Now we can apply a few constraints. Let's go ahead and move this down. To commit the Boolean intersect, we'll once again press the green check mark. And we can see that only the intersecting geometry has been kept. The Boolean tools provide a really powerful tool set to create lots of different kinds of geometry for many different use cases. In this video, we've seen examples of how to use the Boolean Unite, Boolean Subtract, and the Boolean Intersection tools.